Hey guys and gals, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jason, and if this is your first time watching, you're watching Old Car Guy. And the vehicle you see behind me is my 77 Chevy C10, we call Dale, here on this channel. Today is going to be a little bit of an update on the channel, so stay tuned. So as you guys can see, we do have Dale back up and running. It's kind of a gloomy day, but you know what? Dale's a driver, so we've been driving him and uh, tweaking on it a little bit with that overdrive switch, which you guys are going to see in an upcoming video. And everything seems to be going so far, other than the fact that he's a little bit dirty. We did run into a situation the other day where the driver's side upper door hinge broke. I heard the snapping noise, and upon further inspection, well, yeah, the hinge broke. So Dave Ernest, who is Trucker Dave, has been commenting on a lot of my videos of the curse of the Doba. If you guys don't know, I have a 79 Chrysler Cordoba that I had to steal the carburetor off of when we rebuilt the engine here on Dale. And he says it's the curse of the Doba. All the little things that have been going wrong with Dale has been catching up to us. So yes, Dave, I get it. One more thing to chalk up to the curse is a broken hinge. But we did get that fixed and as I'm talking now, I'm going to show up, uh, flash up some pictures on the screen so that you guys can see what we had to do to fix that. Uh, we took it off and then we welded it. Of course, we grinded it down. And we did also notice that on the inside of the door, there were some cracks right around where that hinge bolts in. So we did weld that up as well and get the door a little more secure. And well, we're right back to square one. Everything is working good on Dale. Speaking of Dale, there is a channel out there. If you don't know who the country singer Granger Smith is, well, get out from underneath your rock. But then again, if you don't like country music, you probably don't even know. Anyways, Granger Smith's channel is right here. And I stumbled upon him, not because I'm a country fan, but because he on his channel during quarantine uh, and a couple of buddies, Butch Thompson and Bull Shipley, uh, those guys both have Twitters, which you can follow some of the behind the scenes. And I'll put those up on the screen as well. Um, they started building a 74 C10. Uh, Granger Smith has an alter ego called Earl Dibbles Jr. And uh, Earl Dibbles Jr. makes an appearance on some of his country music videos, as does the truck. Well, during quarantine, they weren't uh, touring anymore. Uh, they decided it was time to take this truck and do a refurbish on it, which started off to be a head gasket. And well, I'll let his channel tell the rest of that story. I've been kind of conversing a little bit with Bull uh, through Twitter as well as email. I'm going to send them out some old Car Guy t-shirts with Dale across for the three of them. And uh, they just recently purchased a parts truck for their build. And guess what color it is? It's very much the same as what Dale is on my truck. And it looks like Dale's getting an appearance in theory on the Granger Smith channel. So I encourage you guys to head on over there and check that out. It's a great build, it's a great series. And uh, Granger is, uh, seems to be quite the hometown, whole, wholesome, down to earth type of guy, as well as Bull and Butch. Um, they are from Texas, so they are red blooded Americans. Uh, they like their guys. And uh, you know, so that just go over there, hit them up and enjoy what they have to offer. I know you're gonna like it. The other thing that I wanted to do was give you guys a quick update on the car lot because, well, we haven't done that in a while. Now, granted, we are still sitting on some of the older inventory, and in a, a video from quite a while ago, you'll note that I said I sold the red 2012 Dodge Journey. Well, I did. That's not the same one. That's another one. The one that I sold was an RT, so it was leather had all the bells and whistles, and it was all-wheel drive. This one's just an SXT front-wheel drive, but it is V6, and it is a nice rig. Uh, we've got lots of new inventory here. I'll go through them right quickly with you. Like I said, the Journey, we got a 14 Patriot, all-wheel drive, 14 Ford Escape, all-wheel drive. We've got this beautiful trade-in, 2012 Ford Focus with only 90,000 kilometers. That's about 50,000 miles. 2012 Chevy Cruze. We've also got a 2014 Chevy Cruze and a 2015 Chevy Cruze. 13 Ford Fiesta. We still got the Taurus, we still got the CX-5, we still got the Trax, we still got the Fiat. We're still here. 
if anybody out there is local and you watch my channel and you are looking for a vehicle any of those four right there I'm gonna give them away basically uh, at cost because I, I've been sitting on them long enough it's time to move those vehicles we also picked up a couple of Nissans yes Nissan we've got the Sentra here we have got the Altima here and we've got a couple of Chrysler products the uh, 2012 sorry the 2013 Chrysler 200 and the 2012 Dodge Avenger we've also got a 14 Cruze which is a manual transmission this is the one that I've been driving for a little while and this one back here is something that we're trying to purchase it's another 14 Cruze and as I've said before on this channel Chevy Cruises and Hyundai Elantras are two of the biggest sellers for us that's why we stock up on them I have no Elantras uh, we've sold the ones that we've had and we are trying to buy some more if you've been following our channel for any length of time you'll know uh, that that is some of the biggest vehicles that we sell so there's just a quick lot quick lot update and I also want to point out too that as part of what we do here on this channel is I just give you a few updates on you know the goings-on you all know that because of quarantine we were on the verge of basically closing our doors and now that the quarantine has somewhat been lifted we're allowed to be out and about in public and a lot of the restrictions are there uh, that have been lifted we've also got uh, the federal government chipping in to help pay some wage subsidies so my wage and some of my employees wages are being paid for up to 75 percent believe it or not so that's helping us stay in business not to mention the fact that because people are out and about now uh, they're starting to buy some vehicles so we have had a pretty good run on uh, buying uh, on selling some vehicles and uh, I'm pretty excited about that we're not where we should be we're still probably um, down about 50% of the sales that we should have had by this time this year uh, so things are down but they are looking up so uh, I know you guys always comment down in the, in the comment section below that you know things will get better and, and uh, you know we're doing a great job and all that stuff and I really appreciate that because it's uh, it's those type of comments that make us uh, feel like we are doing something right and that things are going to continue to get better and I agree I, I, I really do so there's your update there's a little bit of what's going on around here uh, the weather is supposed to clear up today and uh, turn sunny for the weekend so I'm looking forward to that I'm hoping to get off work a little bit early today so as you can tell now that the sun is out it is afternoon and I'm getting ready to take off here but one of the things I meant to show you this morning on the truck has another upgrade and if you follow me on Instagram you'd know what it is already and if you don't go over here at Old Car Guy. Uh, head on over to Granger Smith's channel, check that out. I hope you guys uh, do that and uh, you'll see the uh, C10 build that they've got going on over there. In the meantime, guys, stay focused on the windshield, not the rearview mirror. I love you. God bless. Let's do it again real soon.